Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will show you that how we can easily create the NDVI map using Art Observation Browser. So let's go on to this tutorial. I will try to start all of those things from beginners to advanced level in the Art Observation Browser. You can also follow this YouTube channel as well as you can also follow this playlist. So all of those things I will upload it and uh, store it in this playlist. So you can easily access all of those tutorial about the art observation from my YouTube channel and you can easily practice. So first of all, I already opened this art observation browser here you can see. This is the art observation browser user interface. So first of all, you can simply uh, search your place, which place you want to make the NDVI map. Suppose in this time I want to make the map for this specific place. I simply search my region of interest. So this is my region of interest, I simply search. So this is my area of interest, okay. So first of all, I need to add the data. So here you can see the Sentinel data and also Landsat data is available. I want to work with Sentinel-2 data set. So simply select the Sentinel-2 and then you can see the advanced search option, click on here. I simply select my cloud person, tense. suppose I need only for the SMS which is the less than 0% cloud cover or any suppose 0% cloud cover I need. So I, then I simply um, go to the option below and here you can see the time period. So you can simply uh, click on here and select your time period, your specific time period. Suppose I need this NDVI map for the month of January 2023 from 1st January to suppose uh, also I put here that uh, 2023. January suppose uh, 31 so now between this time period I want to search the satellite images so now simply click on the search so now it's showing all of those styles about this time period here you can see here I can get the first of all you can see first image is that 24 January cloud cover is that 0% also you can see the second image is that 19 January cloud cover is that 0% we can also get that another image you can see 9 January cloud cover will be 0 percent and it these styles basically cover my region of interest okay so now simply click on the visualize so here I can get this type of result so now it added the you can see it added the images in my in my region of interest okay so now from here I can easily create this type of map you can see this is the false color composite and then simply click on the false color it create the false color composite about that map also you can see about uh, the highlight the optimized natural color so now it's showing about that highlight the optimized color okay for this imagery also you can see ndvi so click on the ndvi it create the ndvi map for my region of interest so now it loaded you can see here So you can see this is the NDVI map for my region of interest and click on here here we can get the legend about this map you can see this is the legend about that okay so basically it's that normalized difference vegetation index and uh, it uh, mainly it is a measure of a state of vegetation health based on the how plant reflect the light and certain wavelength the value of range of NDVI is the negative one to positive one Negative values uh, mainly corresponded to the water, uh, values uh, close to the 0 to 0 0.1 generally corresponded to the barren areas or rocks, sand, snow. Positive value represented the shrub and grassland. Then uh, also you can see the approximately 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 mainly high, uh, uh, high values indicate the temperate and tropical rainforest. Okay. So there is a description about that NDVI you can easily get from here. So this is my study area, okay, but I need this map for the specific region of interest such as Rajarat, 
boundary okay so first of all i need to import it the boundary shape file of this raja boundary okay in your browser or art observation browser only supported some file you can see so we can simply upload it the some file from here so just click on here so mainly it supported the kml file kmz file okay also you can see the gpx file wkd file geojson file json file okay just i simply uh click on here and go to my uh, source file this i already created the kml file of my boundary just i simply open this file from my storage local storage simply search here as a eo so just i simply go to the download folder it is stored in the download then search here eo i simply search my folder It just is going to find out the folder. Okay, this is the folder about that. In this folder, I already created the KML file. You can see this is the KML file. Just I simply open the KML file. So now you can see it selected my region of interest in here. So I need this map for this region of interest. So basically, this is the boundary of my study area as a KML file. So now I simply imported my KML file. So now I want to create for this boundary for NDVI map. You can see. So now I want to create the NDVI map for this boundary. So then I simply, you can see here, click on here. So now it's showing that this type of information you can see. Uh, if you want, you can also show the caption. You can simply put the, the title of your map. Suppose I put this map title is the NDVI uh, map, as well as you can see the crop with your area of interest. So you can simply select that. Then it will be cropping with your area of interest, and we can get the result only for that study area. Also, you can see the show the lesion. So click on here. So now it also added the legend of your map okay and also you can see the show caption we already add about that and if you want to add the map add different types of map so then we are also applying, applying for the add map overlays option in this time we do not need about that and in this time we can see the image format is that your mainly we can easily export it the png as a jpg format anyone you can choose okay this is the one process for creating the ndvi map and create this map as a png file format as well as if you want you can also you can see here uh you can simply download the data as a tip format okay you can select the tip format and when i select the tip format it also we can get the georeferenced image okay so we can get the georeferenced image when i select the tip format okay Suppose you want to download the NDVI map uh, image as a TIFF format. So for that, simply select the TIFF format and also you can see the resolution. Suppose you need the high resolution about that. Also you can see the coordinate system. You already selected the coordinate system. If you want, you can use the geographic coordinate system, WGS84. Simply select that. Okay. And also you can see select the NDVI. After that, when you click to the download, then it downloaded as a TIFF format. Okay, it downloaded as a TIFF format. And this tip format you can further uh, creating the map using the other geospatial software okay so this is the another approach as well as when you want to download create the map suppose you can see now it's showing this map i put the title as that so in this time i want to download this map as the image or jpg format so then simply download it click to the download in this time here you can see it is starting to the downloading and uh, we can easily create this ndvi map so you can see download it just simply open this folder just say simply open you can see so now you can see it created this type of ndvi map for my region of interest and now it display the legend 
all of those things we can easily get from here uh, for this NDVI map. Okay, so this is the process for creating the NDVI map using the Earth Observation Platform. Okay, so I hope you can enjoy this video. And if you have any question about that, you can simply comment in the video description. And if you face any problem, then you can simply contact with my email and also contact with my WhatsApp. Okay. So in this time, I also give you an announcement for our upcoming online training program. So basically, this online training program for the Google Earth Engine is a totally cloud-based platform. This training will be start for that uh, 10 November. Okay. So this is the total seven days online training program for the beginners. If you have no knowledge in JavaScript programming or Python programming, or you have zero knowledge in that programming, then don't worry about that. So in this online training program, I will teach you all of those things from beginners to advanced level. So after completing this online training program, you are able to do any types of remote sensing analysis using Google Earth Engine. So this class will be start from the 10th November. So now our 50% discount is available. If you want this online training program and get the 50% discount, as soon as possible, you can simply contact with this WhatsApp number, as well as if you want, you can also contact with this email for uh, getting all of this information. And also you can easily registration. After completing the registration, you can access in our Google Classroom, as well as you can also access our WhatsApp group. So here you can see all of those course content about that. Okay, so all of those course content. I will add all of those things in the video description. You can simply check it. Then uh, you can also get the, some benefit about that. After completing the all of those assignment, you can get the e-certificate as well as you can also get the all of those materials, slide, PDF, and all of those practice code also provide. And uh, you can also get the recorded video class. Suppose you miss any live class, then you can easily cover uh, for using the recorded video class. And you can get the lifetime teaching support. So after completing the total seven days further for any help, or if you need the, any support for that learning the Google Earth Engine, or for that any uh, problem, you can easily get the support from me, okay? So if you want to join this online training program for Google Earth Engine for the beginners course, can simply contact with this whatsapp number as well as you can also contact with this email then complete your registration okay so today is no more stay safe stay happy thank you for watching that